Well, uh, yesterday in the news, uh, you uh, Amadia is uh, buzzing. I mean, uh, with respect to uh, the issues that happened at La Palm uh, Royal Hotel, that is yesterday. Um, there is news going around that your outfit, led by Nana Buru, uh, went with the police and the military officials to arrest Chef Smith. How true is this? Okay, thank you, and then uh, good morning to your cherished uh, listeners. Uh, first off, I would like to. Um, on behalf of the management of Amadia, I would like to render an unqualified apology to the journalist that was in your studio yesterday. Mm. And um, we were told that he was assaulted by one of the uh, police officers and they seized his uh, phone and some pictures were deleted from his phone. I, I think that that is quite uncalled for. We condemn that action by the police officer. It's not the right of the police officer to seize the journalist phone and to that matter delete the content of it so we want to render an unqualified apology to that um, generally it has nothing to do with us at all um i was there i saw it was later um then i saw the policeman banter with the as well as the military guy banter with the the journalist and the time i got in it was already um over so um let me just apologize to that journalist. I will ask, uh, we're trying to fish out who that military officer is to call him personally, also to render an apology to him. So okay. uh, that's just um, the first thing I would like to say. Okay. So let me quickly move on to uh, the issue. So, um, well, it is true that yesterday there was a, a press conference by Chef Smith, a press conference that the headline sponsor for the three months uh, Coca Ton event at um, our shopping mall that we were not informed, we're not in the known. And uh, we just got wind of that press conference only yesterday uh, through a flyer that was um, advertised on Chef Smith's Facebook page. So when we got wind of that, we tried as much as possible to get in touch with Chef Smith and his management team to find out what the problem was and what are the issues. Why is it that? is going ahead with a supposed press conference without recourse to the headline sponsor. And before this cocathon, we signed a three-year contract with Chef Smith to regulate our working relationship. Mm. And as part of the contract, we stated clearly that after the cocathon event, any activity that he has to engage in, he must first of all inform us before any decision or any activity is engaged. It was part of the contract. Okay. So when we saw that flyer flying on social media, there's going to be a press conference to announce or to unveil him as the new um, uh, record holder for the Cookathon. We were quite amazed and we were quite surprised. So as I said, we made some calls to his team to find out, and there was no response from his team. So on that day, that was just a day, we went to the place to ascertain to ourselves to know whether indeed the certificate that he wants to display is indeed a certificate from the Guinness World Record. And then if indeed they have endorsed him by an email to him that he has broken the record and is the new record holder. So when we got there, we tried to going to speak with him and they were preventing us from entering into the press hall to speak to engage um chef smith so we're quite worried so we keep asking questions what is happening can we speak can we sit down and talk all we need to know is that has gwr endorsed your cookathon are they giving you a response can you confirm by way of email any evidence to show because don't forget that we sponsored you. And as far as we're concerned, our brand is what we use to sponsor the three-month cookathon. So we have the right to know. It's a simple endeavor. They refused to answer those questions. Surprisingly, they didn't even want us to enter into the hall to even speak to Chef Smith ourselves. Okay. No, so there was a back and forth. We keep demanding. Don't I mean, please hold on with the press conference because if indeed it is confirmed from the Guinness World Record Institution that indeed you have broken the record. I mean, we are going to pick up this because it's great news for you and Mother Ghana.
Because when you attempt this record, it is not about you anymore. It's about the motherland. It's about okay. the nation. Okay. So, so uh, the, uh, pardon my interruption. So, okay. if I'm right, the main reason why you interrupted the press conference is that uh, you wanted to uh, be in the know that, or you wanted to be rest assured that the GWR, or the Guinness World Record certificate that is going to be on display is actually original and authentic. Exactly. Okay, that so... That was all our concern. Okay. Because as I told you, right after the coca I mean, engaging Chef Smith and his team was so difficult. They hardly pick up our calls. We keep asking about updates upon updates. We keep asking the management whether they didn't upload the contents on the GWR website. What are the response? Nothing was coming from them. So we were in the dark. We don't know what was happening until yesterday when we saw the flyer advertising that is going to have a press conference. And of course, our brand is associated to the Cookathon. So if you are going to do anything, as far as our brand is concerned, we need to know. So mm. the whole point of getting there was to just to understand and for him to confirm to us that, indeed, if GWR has confirmed him as the new holder of the Cookathon. That was all. Okay. So, so when the back and forth was going on, and we realized that, they were not coming forth and talking to us, and they were still going on with a press conference. Chef Smith himself, he didn't even come out to even speak to us. We said, no, I mean, there was something I missed at this point in time. So we placed a call to the police to come in, to at least intervene, hold the press conference, have the dialogue first, let's understand, let's see some form of evidence from GWR, and then we can even proceed. Now we can even join you to do the press conference together. Okay, so so it's, it's not the case that is being put out there. It's not a rumor that's circulating that it's an alleged case of fraud. Nobody has been accused him of any fraud. Nobody. What has he fraud? He hasn't fraud anybody. All we are asking, or the reason why we went there was just to ascertain the validity or okay. the veracity of what he's claiming that he has gotten from GWR. As simple as that. Okay, Niso, uh, confirm or debunk some of these rumors for, for us this morning. Mm -hmm. First first rumor uh, circulating on social media is that uh, Amadia uh, Shopping Centre is part, or part of uh, the management team of Chef Smith, the Millennium Chef. And... Uh, as a matter of that, as a matter of that, you guys have equal access to the GWR email that uh, should, or uh, as it is, uh, had the the certificate uh, being sent to. No, we do not have access to any email. I mean, we are just sponsors. We partnered him to do the cookathon. That's what we did. But in terms of the email accessibility and everything is him and his team. They have access. That's why when we finished the cookathon, we gave every content for him to upload on the GWR website. He did okay. everything with his team. We were not part of it. So no communication. We didn't have any communication with GWR. How was the relationship uh, between yourself, uh, that is Amadia Shopping Center, and uh, Chef Smith uh, after the cookathon? In fact, up to today, I can tell you, we still have a good relationship with Chef Smith. We do. As so far as so what seems to be the problem? We, we can't fathom. We can't. At this point, we, we, we can't. there's nothing. The only thing we can do is to hazard a guest. That's what we can do. Okay, so we do not have any problem whatsoever with Chef Smith. Because we sponsored, as I said, it was a three-month event from February all the way to March. And everything that happened there was through Amadia Shopping Center. Okay, so everything to him. In fact, on the final day, if you were there, we organized a big musical concert just to honor him for what he has achieved. And uh, after that, we'll keep engaging him. It was until, I think, around April or March, ending there about. After then, we realized that he was not coming forth, he was not responding to our calls, but of course, maybe he might be busy, was trying to upload the content, so we gave him time. So we're expecting him to come back to us. Immediately, he gets that information that indeed, his attempts have been successful. 
And believe you me, if Chef Smith has come to us and informed us that the attempt has been successful, you know, even when it started, you saw what we do. What mm-hmm. if it has been successful? We could have organized a big, bigger press conference. We could have invited the media. We could have invited other celebrities to come and share in that group because it is Ghana that has won. And we are trying to project the image of Ghana. Mm. It is to our credit that we've sponsored a Ghanaian who is the first Ghanaian to have won or to overthrow um, 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 Alan Fisher. Um, the, uh, Smith. Uh, what's the name of the, the, Alan Fisher. the current order? That is uh, Alan Fisher. I, Alan Fisher. I mean, it's a monumental feat that we're going to join him to celebrate. Ni, nee, I want so to ask you this question. With Chef Smith as far as management is concerned. Okay, so Chef, uh, I want to ask you something, uh, Ni. Nee. Was he arrested yesterday? Okay, so what happened was that when the police came in, at that time, the press conference was over. In fact, they had gone ahead to announce and to tell the world that he is a world record breaker. He showed, he displayed the certificates and all that. So when the police came, we told the police that we suspect there is something amiss. So please, if he can bring or he can invite Chef Smith and the manager so that we can have a conversation. Then the police start looking for Chef Smith. Chef Smith was nowhere to be found. The manager was there at that time. So the manager was invited to the police station to explain why they did what they did. You know? So after the interrogation, he was then arrested because the answers were not forthcoming. He was not able to provide any scintilla of evidence that shows that indeed GWR confirmed Chef Smith has broken the record. And it indeed the certificate was coming from GWR. He couldn't do that. So he was arrested. Mm. Then they asked him to produce Chef Smith. Later in the evening, after several calls to Chef Smith, he then appeared. He was then also questioned, interrogated, and then arrested. So the arrest of Chef Smith and the manager has nothing to do with Amadia Shopping Center. Okay. It was just the police doing their work. Okay, so uh, if um, I'm right on this, kindly let me know. As at yesterday in the evening, or even as it stands now, the police have interrogated the manager of Chef Smith and Chef Smith himself. Mm-hmm. And that they can't, I mean, they can't authenticate or you guys can't authenticate uh, how real or, or the fakeness of the GWR certificate that he produced yesterday at the press conference. Exactly. We can't. We have sent an email after that. I mean, as, I mean, as everybody does, you know, a lot of people have sent emails trying to ascertain from GWR to confirm or deny. But as we speak now, no response has come from GWR. So as we, we can't authenticate, we can't say that indeed what he's saying is true or not true. Have you, have, have you had access to the email? Because the manager said, uh, I mean, spoke to Dr. Pounce yesterday uh, on this platform that they sent them the certificate via email. Have you had access to the email? Have you seen the email from GWR? They have not sent anything to us. As I said, we are not we are not copied in any of their emails. The, it's the it's not about being copied. Said, uh, once you had the manager at the police station, I'm sure maybe you could have showed you the email. Yeah, so this morning, we we're going to go there because it was late yesterday. After the time we're leaving there around 9 o'clock, nothing has been shown to us. You see, even when we're at the La Palm trying to find out from them anything, if they can show us, and they couldn't show us anything. I mean, we had lost. We didn't know. So if he's claiming that he has evidence that shows that GWR has indeed confirmed that he, uh, Chef Smith has broken the record, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Mm. And that's all we need. And then we can take it from there. But as we speak now, after this morning, nothing whatsoever. And we cannot, as I said, confirm or deny whether what he has is valid or not valid. In the case where it comes out that uh, Chef Smith uh, did not break the world record, what would be the stance of Amadia Shopping Center? Well, that would be a big worry, not for Amadia Shopping Center alone on the management, but to all Ghanaians. Because as I said, this thing now goes beyond Chef Smith and even Amadia. It's about Ghana, our reputation. 
Okay. Do you understand? Okay. Because since 1955, when this um, UWR was established, I mean, every citizen that has attempted goes through a certain procedure. And you know, GWR, they have a very strict procedure. You know, before they can confirm that indeed you've broken the record, they have to scrutinize everything to make sure that the writing is done. So if it turns out that, I mean, what Sheer Smith has presently is not from GWR, it's going to be a grave concern to us and to Ghanaians. And as of now, as I, as I keep saying, we can't part on why he has to do such a thing. Mm. Why he has to, if indeed it is true that what he has is not, is not from GWR, why must you fix such a thing? Why must you, why must you organize a press conference to announce something that is not it? Okay. That, that, is, that, that is beyond our comprehension at this point in time. Okay. But we are hoping that this morning, when we get to the police station, he will be able to provide evidence to us. And when he provides that evidence, we are going to cross-check with GWR to confirm again to us that indeed what he has shown to us is coming from them. Because okay. once beaten, as they always say, twice shy. Exactly. Thank you, Ni. Before you uh, you take leave of us, there's also a video circulating on social media. In fact, I did an editorial where I was reliably informed that there were certain periods during his attempt at the longest cooking marathon that he, Chef Smith, wasn't around. And this wasn't just his uh, break. It just wasn't just the rest break. There were certain points in time that he wasn't around. Can you confirm or deny that? Uh, well, I mean, you cannot have it 100% correct when we, when it comes to this uh, tone issue. You know, there's a lot of things that happen, I mean, offset, in terms of onset and all that. But, I mean, the best the people to judge is GWR people. GWR. Okay. If you could remember when he first finished a, a, a singer tone, it was the same thing. But he uploaded everything, and then they came back and then spelled out the wrong and what they did wrong and everything. So it's up for them to now tell us whether what you've uploaded, there is something, we, 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 we violated some of the rules and the regulations. It's for them to, we, we, we can't say. But of course, I mean, as human as it is, I mean, there are a few lapses here and there. But whether that can, can erase everything that he has done, I mean, GWR is the best people to tell us. This is Pits.